Hello everybody and welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today we are back with making Stardew Valley characters in The Sims 4 and today we are doing Gus. I thought we'd do Gus because I was just scrolling through the Stardew Valley wiki at the villagers seeing what, who we have left to do and I love me some Gus so we're going to do Gus. Before we get started today make sure to comment down below who you would like to see me make next and with that Let's get right into it. So pretty much the only thing that the Stardew Valley Wiki says is he's a villager who lives and works at the Stardrop Saloon in Pelican Town. So yeah, let's see what we can do with that. So I think, cause he's like a cook, I'm going to give him the Master Chef Aspiration. I'm gonna give him Foodie. I'm going to give him the Good Trait and I think we'll just do ambitious for him. So yeah, let me zoom in on Gus over here. See what we're working with. So what we need some skin tone change. Oh, that's that's pretty good. Maybe that, that's pretty good. He's my chunky baby. So he's gonna go up a bit. Do I have a body? No. Okay. Let's get right into making his face so he's got a very round head very round big cheeks nice big happy smile a nice big moustache big schnauz decently sized eyes and some big thick dark brows so yeah let's see what we can do Alrighty, so this is what I have for Gus so far. Let's see if we can find him some hair. So he's got not a lot of hair. It's all on top of his head and it's like loosely swept over. So, not shaved though. Oh, it could be. That's not bad. I think we're gonna go for this hair. We're to give him his mustache. He needs some eyelashes, just some little baby ones. That's good. Now he needs some contacts. Those are pretty good because they're like golden like that. All right. Now we just need to find him an outfit. So he's got like a jacket over a blue t-shirt. Some like purple pants. So let's see what we can find. 
think this jacket's gonna have to do. I know I use it a lot, but it's like the only good one. I like, like, it's like the only one that like doesn't look too like young for him, I guess. That also lets me change the color of this shirt. Oh, excuse me. All right, um, some like purple pants. Okay, and some like brown boots, but he needs his socks. Blue black to tie in with the trim on the jacket. He honestly looks so bad. Like, he looks like him, but, like, the outfit is terrible. But I just, I don't know what else to do. I just spent, like, so long trying to, like, figure out what to put him in. Maybe I'll just pick an outfit and I won't go, like, with what he wears in the game. I'll go, like, based on what I think he would wear. Try that. There, I think that's a lot better. This gives me vibes of something he would wear. I think that's a lot better for him. Now you look like Gus. You need to be smiling more though. You don't really look like you're smiling. There we go. Yeah, I'm proud with him now. I think this is a lot better. I think I might also do like a longer video at the end of this, like making over the characters like how like I would, I guess, in my style. Cause I had a lot, had a lot more fun like changing his outfit away from like what he wears in the game. So I think maybe I'll do that like with the rest of the characters too. And like how I would dress them and style them in my personal opinion. But yeah. But with that, that is going to wrap up today's episode of making Story Valley characters in The Sims 4. Um, make sure to comment down below what you think and, and how I did with Gus. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. While you're down there, make sure to also comment down below who you would like to see me make next. And with that, remember to stay hydrated and I will talk to you all again next time. Toodles!